Yeah, and part of that too, you know though, is I mean? also that you know you when you get into a relationship, it's like that expression, right? Those who can't teach, right? Right. So um, when you get into a relationship, though, you want the person to compliment you, Absolutely. not complete you. Absolutely. And that's I think where Absolutely. things get misconstrued. You right. know. Right. So. Absolutely. And 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 that that's the key thing. And the other thing too is like a lot of what I talk about too. Part of what I do is just really helping women because I'm all about just you know just empowering women you know you what are, I mean truly um and the reason why is because you know talk talk about even me as a guy being a feminist like it's not about saying that you don't you're trying to say that women should take over the role of men but it's all about just understanding and acknowledging the fact that there are like inequalities in society that we need Correct. to fix and that's really what it's all about Correct. and I've always said this too with a lot of women you know when I look at you know, this whole conversation these days about what's beautiful and what's not Mm -hmm. and what's acceptable and what's not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I've always said this nine out of 10 times, every time that you find yourself in a place where you feel like while you're, you're depressed and you Mm -hmm. feel like it's because you're, you're taking into account what society's saying. Oh, absolutely. Nine out of every 10 times. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, I've, I've always said it's not a sound too religious, but it's something about you're beautifully, fearfully, and wonderfully made. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That you have to constantly tell yourself that. And every anything that's that's not that, it's a lie, and you shouldn't accept it. And so a that's lot hard. of what I do is really helping people get to that point where, like, you really see yourself for who you are. And I've always said this, too. You got to work on what's on the inside. Absolutely. And I speak and I and I've, <laughs> I speak for all guys like regardless of nationality, ethnicity, race, creed, I speak for all guys when I say this. A guy that really wants to be with you is going to be interested in more than just your body. Absolutely. And I always tell my sisters this, I'm like go to gym, work out, look good. Don't do it for anyone, do it Correct. for you. Don't do it because you're trying to get a man. Right. Because I mean, me and my one of my friends was talking how it's funny how guys with women that look so good, they still cheat. And I'm oh, yeah, like, it it's not because of what you have on the outside, mm-hmm. though. You got to think about it. What do you have on the inside? You got mm-hmm. an attitude problem. You got to fix it. You know, I mean, and it works both well, you ways. Know the, the, it works the both other ways. thing, too, right, the interesting part is a lot of times as women, I feel like we tend to internalize when a man cheats. And we um, we own the blame for the man cheating. Like, it's something I didn't do right that right. caused him to go out here. No. It, it's not necessarily it's, it's the not, case. It's not. It's not. <laughs> he it's might absolutely just not. He might want to just, just go out and do whatever. He might just. He might definitely, definitely. And and the reason why I bring that up too is because I see a lot of people who just tend to like focus on what's on the outside. We right. want to look good, and I'm like, because we live in a superficial you know world. What I'm saying? We definitely do, and it's like there's more to it. And when mm-hmm. I talk about just really accepting yourself, I've always said this. There's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with absolutely being, not. you know, who you are, plus size. And but there's everything wrong with how society perceives that. And how society um, in turn makes you feel as a result of it. Like, it's funny. There's a clothing line that made news. uh, They're getting, you know, dragged for filth because they put out a a sweatshirt that said being fat is not beautiful. Uh, It's an excuse or something to that effect. Right. Right. right, right. So it's 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 constant little like microaggressions against bigger women or you know in that case it's not necessarily color specific mm-hmm. but you know the the plus size community as a whole like we aren't represented in fashion shows we are more so now but you know little things like oh you can't be on this tv ad because you're you're not this it's it's not you don't see the inside of me Absolutely. right Absolutely. society in general sees the outside and they judge the outside and you have all these opinions about what big girls should wear and what big girls shouldn't wear and you know it's it, you're constantly inundated you're constantly, yeah. with messages of you not being good right. enough and you not being you know enough you right. know what i mean so it's hard to combat and that's right. why i celebrate these women that just own it and they yeah, you know they, they own it with passion and conviction and i just i admire them absolutely so much. and that's what i always tell people every time that you find yourself in that place ask yourself who's talking to you is it society that's talking to you what makes you feel like you need to be this or be that or change yourself you know the problem with you that know? some of that is because it's so deep-seated you know right. what i mean it's like literally from the beginning of time you know what i mean right. like growing up you had barbie dolls or whatever right. you know what i'm saying and they had a certain mold and it was always you're supposed to kind of look this way yeah you know and it wasn't now yes butts are more acceptable mm-hmm. yeah. in the last what yeah 15 years and it's maybe? hard you know but yeah but it's hard it's, it's is, not an easy thing no. it's it's not an easy thing and that's why i tell people that you it, it's, it's it's something that you you have to consciously consciously do. do you have to consciously tell yourself and remind yourself of that um because and i feel like 
it's I'm all about you being perfect or like just just being a whole person in and out. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like so as you take care of your body and you know healthy and all, work on what's on the inside as well. And the same thing goes with guys too. Like you know what I mean? Like little things that we need to fix. And I tell people all the time, you could be dishonest to everybody else but be honest with yourself well and that's a struggle for you know for men and women and the thing is i think that for men part of the struggle as well is like you know the it's akin to the domestic violence situation right Mm -hmm. like if you grow up in an abusive situation you can say i'm gonna go towards it or i'm gonna go the opposite way of it there are men that you know either their father wasn't in their life or whatever you know what i'm saying or my you know my dad cheated on whatever 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 your excuse is right um but you have once you become an adult right right, and you become responsible you have a choice in life right Right. and you can choose to be the man that you want to be you can choose to be you know what you thought you weren't capable of you know what i mean but the hard part is like a admitting it and then working towards it and the thing is i feel like people want to go zero to 100 real quick but there are steps it's growth it's evolution you know what i mean like you didn't wake up one day and just decide all of a sudden you love people right you know what i mean like you love yourself enough to know i'm not going to be in an exclusive relationship or whatever right. you know what right. i'm saying you it didn't you didn't just happen upon that in one day right absolutely not you know it's, you've it's evolved into this it's a process right. it's so a process. but you got to put in the work absolutely you know what i mean it's and a a, i think the issue is that there are a lot of both men and women that don't want to put in the work for the right. relationship right and I, and i feel like that's the biggest thing. Like, it's just knowing that, you know, everyone wants a great relationship, but everyone it's is not work. willing to work for it. It's and, work. And people ask me all the time, you know, why, why are you so, you know what I'm saying, obsessed with the whole love movement? I'm like, you know, love makes everything good, everything yes. beautiful. And Absolutely. I, and we and need more of it. We need more of it. And and I talk to guys and, and women, too. Like, you know, I'm sick and tired of people cheating on, 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 on people. I, I'm, you know I hate is, that. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of it because, you know, think about it. Like, I've always said this. If if I don't want to mess with you, you know what I'm saying? Like if if something is going on, I was just talking about this with somebody not too long ago about how sometimes in relationships like, you know what I mean? Like people walk away from relationships because they feel like they're not getting what they want in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And I've always said this Think about it. It's like when you get married or when you start that relationship, like everything was good at some point in time. If you ever get to a point where it's like you're not getting what you used to have, just walk away. You know what I mean? Like. First of all, before you even do that, ask yourself, how do we get to this point? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. How do we get to this point? This woman that was once amazing and everything I wanted. Yeah, and a Mm -hmm. lot of times it's not even about you. She might be going through stuff. So instead Mm -hmm. of you feeling like, oh, man, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, and then you walk away and go cheat. And I've always said this. It's like you having white rice, but it's, like, not cooked. You have it at home. Mm -hmm. And then it's like you go out to a restaurant and buy the same thing that's cooked and processed. Well, you have the same thing at home. You was just you weren't willing to put in the work and to right. add what it needs to get Correct. to that point where you needed to. Correct. But you go outside and you grab that what's already there. Well, because it's easy over there. It's easy over there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but you have the exact same things at home. And Correct. if you decide that you don't want to be in a relationship, you don't want to be married anymore. Why would you disrespect somebody by even? It's like if I don't want this anymore. If you don't want to put in the work, just leave. And so that's the frustrating part, right? Because I think that a lot of times the first, whenever you start encountering issues in your relationship, the first thing is, let's go to counseling. I'm, right. And I'm, I'm a victim of it too. You right. know what I'm saying? I've done it. Like, let's go to counseling. He cheated. Let's go to counseling. Right. The thing is, with counseling and, you know, the stigma with the counseling in the black community is that's a whole nother yeah, situation, absolutely. right? But, okay, fine. So he cheated. We went to counseling. And the thing is, Counseling is only as effective as the amount of work that you want to put in, right? Right, So if you're lying to the counselor or you're not 100% truthful, right, Right. you're basically wasting both of our times. So it's like you're just going through the motions, you're appeasing me because I said let's go to counseling to fix what what is wrong because obviously us communicating isn't working if you're doing whatever. You know what I mean? And I feel like it it comes a point where you have to have a certain amount of self-awareness to say – I'm unhappy. Right. I have an obligation to you, the person that I love, right, to say, I'm unhappy. Let's fix this. Let's if fix this. I'm, right. If, if, if you, the person that I love, is not hearing that, is not receiving that, then you take the next steps, right? right? Then maybe you go a little bit more aggressive and say, you know what, maybe we need to break, maybe we need to whatever. But the, the issue is when you step out and you still are – playing i don't know house or pretending with me because you're you're messing with my emotions and you're you're wasting my time and that's the thing that kills me every time Mm -hmm. it's like 
if we need to be apart for like I don't know a year or two, whatever we need to figure mm-hmm. this out, let's do that. Like if if you feel like I'm not, I always say this. I'm I'm not saying you know go get a divorce or anything like that, but I'm saying don't be in that relationship and cheat. Yeah. I like mean, don't don't be you know, in the that interesting place. Thing, right is, and I get men think with their you know whatever, and right. That's great and all, but the thing is that I feel like in the beginning of a relationship. Now I'm a little bit more jaded, but when right. I was younger, right, I would enter a relationship and it was, I'm giving you kind of blind trust, blind faith, right? Like I'm I'm trusting that what you're telling me is the truth. You got no reason. You got no you know. Written a lie. You mm-hmm. got no what is it? Dog in this race? Like right, right. Why should you lie to me? You know what right. I'm saying? Um, but once you have like. I feel like once that um, trust is violated and you mm-hmm. cheated, that carefreeness, that, um, hey, babe, I'm going to the store. I'll be out for about two hours. Okay, cool. The the, the non-judgment, the, all that shit goes out the it window out the door, right? once trust has been violated. You know what right. I mean? Because now it's like, are you where you're supposed to be? Right. What you doing? Right. Why it take you so long? You know right. what I mean? Like, And right. it's you can't help it. It's, it's almost a natural reaction, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Once your trust has been violated, like, you can't – get back to that place. You right. know what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. there are triggers. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So if all of a sudden I'm calling you and you don't answer your phone or whatever it is, that could be a trigger for me. Like, well, the last time you didn't answer the phone, you was out, right. you know, messing, smashing hoop. So, right, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right. but you don't know what these triggers are. So right. it's like, you have to, it's just a lot and it's messy and a, God, life is too short for all this. It, it is. It is too short for all of it. And that's why I always tell people, man, you got to figure out if you're really ready for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. And I got to a point where it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, when I was ready for it, I knew I was ready for it. But before I got to that point, it was like I had to be honest with myself. It was a lot of things I had to go through myself that I had to figure out how to fix and how to say I was at a point where I was ready to be vulnerable with somebody. I was ready to be committed to somebody. I was ready. All of that took a minute. You know what I'm saying? And it's not something that you just jump into. Like, don't. Right. And I always say this. Like, don't get into a relationship just because you feel like everyone is doing it. Just because I, I, there's a difference between being it's about to being single and being lonely. Oh, absolutely. it's not the same thing. You know, no, they're not. You they're have not to cherish exclusive. your singleness. Like I tell people all the time. Like first of all, when you're in a relationship, that's two people. Like mm-hmm. to some degree, you have a responsibility. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And but when you're single, you got. I, I tell people, date yourself. Take right. yourself out on a date. Get to know it's you. It's funny that you, you know, know what many I mean? people don't do. Like <laughs> I, I am the queen of living my best life right? right and i take myself to the movies all the time i take myself out to eat right like i i go on vacation by myself like right. i live my entire best life right but i meet people and they're like oh my god you'll like what if people see you out and about by yourself i'm like i don't give yeah. a good goddamn of course i'm i'm by myself and that's perfectly and, fine you know what's crazy <laughs> though think about it society makes us feel that way like mm-hmm. you, you walk into like a restaurant like you have chairs and tables is like two everything everything two. twos you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like and i always say it's like we we're letting society control us most of the time and it's mm-hmm. almost like you at the end of the day man you gotta understand what's good for you and i Absolutely. tell people take time know Absolutely. yourself get, know your faults like what pisses you what all of these things there's a lot of times i always say this like if you don't fix what needs to be fixed while you're single and you get in a relationship, it's going to blow work. up in your face. Absolutely. And a lot of what we deal with today in relationships is stuff that we were supposed to deal with while we were single, but mm-hmm. we did not. Mm-hmm. You know, you felt, if I get a man, I'm good. But now all of these things are coming out, mm-hmm. and now it's a problem. You know and what I mean? also, you know, it's taking the time in between the relationships, right? So if you break up today, I'm going to need you to not have a new chick in three days. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to go through the pro. I mean, of course, it's all predicated on how long you were together, whatever. You know what right. I'm saying? But if you were in any kind of, like, serious relationship right you have to allow yourself the time to mourn and heal and kind of get back to one because yeah. you're no longer thinking of us and we yeah it's me yeah. you know and get used to that before you can like dive into something new absolutely and and, and the thing too is like you know I, I was currently talking to this young lady and it's like we talked about how serious like she was trying to get mm-hmm. and her whole thing is i'm not ready to to change up my life right this very moment mm-hmm. which is and a I fair like, answer and honest fair, answer and and i was like me neither because i <laughs> i'm We're not going i'm not going to lie to you like i know what i need to accomplish and i'm mm-hmm. i'm here like 10 11 12 
you might not be okay with that. Sometimes right. I may not call you for a whole week. You might have an issue with that. You know right. what I'm saying? And right. I feel like these are conversations we need to have before. And even when you got to take charge, and even if you feel like this is the one, a lot of times they might be the one, but right now might not be the time. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That. Give it some time. Give it some time. You know what I mean? She's younger, definitely. You know, it's like she might need time to live her life or whatever it is. And it's like, and you, you, got, you know, you got to think about these things because I believe that we can have successful relationships. We can have great love lives and everything. Love is such a beautiful thing, and, and we can definitely have it. And, and it's like, but we need to understand what love is, what love is not, what role and responsibilities we have to play to get to that point that we Absolutely. need to. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, yeah. All right, Lish. So tell everyone about the book one more again. Where can everyone purchase this book um it's 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 everywhere right now everywhere. Right? just just you know just google it um uh, definitely amazon <laughs> um you can find it there um everywhere books are sold you know what i mean and um yeah and then you know real name licious is where you can find me real name licious it's funny because it's like everybody keeps saying is that really your real name everyone so like, always asks and i was that, like everyone. it is my real name i mean so. i probably did too <laughs> i'm like it is my real Damn name it, so. it's my name so i was like <laughs> well you know my ig just gonna be real name licious you know Makes on social sense. media so <laughs> definitely check it out man and you know we have a lot of great things coming out um currently working on a novel actually um and we're hoping to to get like a whole get signed to like a mainstream publishing book that'd be a, dope a book deal for that you know i think that's my most personal work till date um it's a lot of things that you know are in the work that that are that we i really put in that um it was i think it's interesting a lot of people are going to love that because um it's one of those novels that i feel like it's going to start a conversation okay and um inspired by some real life events and someone that I know, okay, you know what I mean. And out of respect, I had to tell her, like, you know, you gonna be in my book, FYI. You know what I mean? <laughs> not, 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 it's not, it's not gonna be all about you, but a little bit of it. But when you, you gonna see know it, when you see it, you know what I'm who saying? I'm talking about? And, and <laughs> it's we're done now. It's just we're in the process of rewriting it. So Good for you, that's awesome. I'm just so definitely, man. Just follow us and what the movement is, man. And and hopefully we can we can all have successful relationships and. Again, if you forget everything else I said, just start with being honest with yourself. True story. And then we'll yeah, bring yeah. you back um, as the the anniversary of this comes back out yes. around. Yes. With the panel and everything like that, we'll bring you back on so we can remind everyone about how important love is. Thank you. You know, overcoming you. your... Uh, your yuck of being in front of the camera because he hates it. He is so behind the camera. <laughs> you know all what's the funny, time. though? Like, I was saying how I started, like, like in front of the camera. Because mm -hmm. I used to act, like, acting singing and all of that good stuff so i used to be like on the stage in front of the camera and then i made that transition to like getting behind the camera and i just and now you're like i was mm. there and then it's like every time I'm like but you know it's, it's all you know like what that. i also think it is is that you're um you're very um particular about your work right and you want to see what's happening yeah and so you're like if i'm on this side of the camera right. i can't right. manage what's going on on that yeah, side of the yeah, camera yeah 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 <laughs> absolutely Shout out to my you. shout out to my man's Brandon. Like he behind the camera. Like you Thank know what I'm saying? Darling. Like <laughs> I can't trust everyone to be behind that camera when I'm in front of the camera. So I had to get somebody I could trust. So the thanks, good, good. man. <laughs> Appreciate you. All right. So we we of course will bring Licious back and um he's responsible for all of these podcasts. I would literally not be able to do them without him. And I sh I generally shout him out and he hates when I do it, but I do it because I care. Right. Um but thank you guys for joining us for another edition of the What's Poppin' Podcast, only on 93.9 WKYS. Thanks, Lish. Thank you.